everybody. Thanks for stopping by my channel for my new home tour. If you have been watching my videos, you'll know that over the last few months, I have been moving not only my personal stuff, but my eBay business to a new location. And that was no small task. I'm so glad it's finished and everything has fallen into place beautifully. Some of you asked why I moved because I was very happy in my previous location. I loved it. But the bottom line is that I turn 55 this year, 2021, and I was looking at other options for age restricted communities just to see what was out there. And I found this. <laughs> so I was thrilled. My other location, uh, my apartment was 22 years old. And this home is brand new. So I am just thrilled that I found something that was even bigger, newer, and for about the same price. So I couldn't pass that up. And um, I wasn't really looking for an age restricted community, but that's what's being built around me. And over the past couple of years, I've just been waiting to be old enough to take advantage of some of those communities that have so many amenities and they're brand new. So when I was planning this move, everything was very deliberate and intentional. And I thought of ways that I could incorporate my eBay business, but camouflage it so that when you walk into my home, it's not like, oh, an eBay seller lives here. There's all their inventory. There's all their shipping supplies. So everything was deliberately thought through and planned. How could I do this? How could I do that? How could I make this invisible? Where could I put this so that people don't see it? Because I've been selling on eBay since 2003. And to be honest, I'm tired of looking at it all day. <laughs> I love selling and I'm never gonna stop but I just wanted a space where I could hide things away and get away from my business for a few hours a day and not have to look at it all the time. If you're a seller or if you've been a seller for a long time, you know what I'm talking about. When you work at home, you do need a break from looking at your business all day. So I'm interested to know what you think about some of these ideas and ways that I've hidden things away so that it just looks like a normal home. And when I have company or visitors, they don't say, oh, an eBay seller lives here. What's all this stuff over here? Why is this all piled up over here? So um, please comment and let me know what you think. And welcome to my home. Here we are in the foyer, just your basic coat closet over there. Cute little, home sweet home wall hanging that welcomes me every time I come in. And here we have the dining area. And this set was very intentional because the chairs are so comfortable. They are velvet upholstered and so comfortable. When I was choosing how to set up my new home, I did everything very intentionally. And what I didn't want was a desk I would be chained to all day. I work from a MacBook Air, which is light and portable, and that's by design so that I can do my work anywhere. So what I did here was set this up as a workstation and that's why I chose very comfortable chairs because I didn't wanna be sitting on a wooden chair for hours. I can't do my best work that way. So you'll see in the middle of the table is a basic looking canister. And this is not full of cookies. I put my office supplies in there so they are hidden, but handy if I need them. So here you have pens, chargers, calculator, checkbook, that kind of stuff. Everything is neatly hidden away. So my intention with this home was for everything to be practical and multi-purpose as well as comfortable. 
To the right of this is my fireplace. But I can enjoy sitting here, having my coffee, checking my email, sending offers, doing all that stuff you do first thing in the morning, and it is set up like a workstation. But let me tell you about this fireplace because I really enjoy it. It is ambient light, but you can also use it for heat. I love having a mantle. And just a side note, you'll see a lot of angels around my house because I collect them. I guess you could say I collect them in a minimalist way because I don't have hundreds. I just have a few beautiful ones that I really love. I really enjoy having a fireplace. I just like looking at it. I think it's pretty. It's very pretty at night. And this is really a fun unit. It has a remote, so you can do all kind of cool things. You can change the colors to whatever you like. It goes to white, you can have it blue. I like this setting with all of them. And then there's different uh, settings you can use for the logs, change the color on those. It has a timer. It has like six heat settings. It's just really a fun item. And I think it looks really good there. And now I'll have somewhere to hang my Christmas stockings next year because I actually have a mantle. Just past the fireplace is this little hallway that leads into the master bedroom and I want you to see the view. Let me wait a minute and see if the camera will focus. There we go. You can see the beautiful blue sky and puffy clouds. I waited for a day like this so I could show you the view from each room because that is why I moved here. Okay, so here is the bedroom area. And nightstand with a stack of books. I'm usually reading about two or three books at a time. So I love books. I love reading. And then this is the master bath. It is not gigantic, but it's all I need. High quality marble countertops and just perfect for one person. So here is the vanity area. And you can see my beach picture there. <laughs> it reflects in both mirrors. So I just thought that looked really cool in that spot. And you might be wondering what this black thing is stuck to my mirror. It's called an air stick. And it's just a little plastic thing that holds your phone. It only sticks onto glass so you can pull it off and move it around. But I love watching how-to videos on YouTube. So when I'm in here getting ready, putting on my makeup, doing my hair, that kind of thing, I always have a video playing and I just stick my phone on that little cradle and that's fun. Okay, and then we have this little cart, which is actually a craft cart and someone was throwing it away. They didn't want it anymore. So I said, I'll take it because this closet, it's kind of funky. They're these weird triangular shelves and it just didn't work right. So anyway, I just keep my stuff in that cart. And here is a fun jewelry organizer. I just got this on Amazon. It has 88 sections. So everything is right there. You don't have to dig through your jewelry box to find the mate to an earring, all that kind of stuff. Maybe a little OCD on the organizing, but that's just how I like things. So that is the closet. And, oh, hello, there I am. Yep, that's all of me. This is me, casual jeans and a sweater. That's how I roll. Okay, and then we're going over to the shower. This shower is gigantic. I don't think I've ever had a shower this big. <laughs> I don't have a lot of junk in there. I'm kind of a minimalist, not perfect at that yet, but you can see I just don't have a lot of stuff in there because I don't need a lot of stuff. 
but this thing on the floor is a shower mat and it's not for non-slip purposes it's for cleaning purposes <laughs> um, I have positioned exactly where I stand, so I don't have to scrub the shower. I can just pull that off and put it in the washing machine, and it just makes it fast and easy because I hate cleaning. So any kind of hack I can do to minimize cleaning works for me. And then we're back around here, and here's another Suzanne OCD thing. The labels on the light switches. That's not necessarily for me, that is for my guests because I have a bunch of triple light switches and I still don't know what goes to what yet because I haven't been here long enough. Okay, exiting the bathroom, we come around here and I always have something fun going on my TV if I'm going to be in that room. I don't leave these going all day long, but it's just nice and peaceful, creates a nice vibe. I just love nature. So in this room today we have snow. <laughs> and then under there is some cube storage. I don't have a dresser because I don't want one. I don't have that much stuff to put in them. And I like things lightweight and easy to move. And I mentioned I collect angels. So here is a pretty angel thing I found at Goodwill. It's a Mikasa porcelain trinket box. I just thought she was pretty. Okay, and then we're going to come around here to the closet. Let me show you this real quick. This is my masterpiece of cross stitch. I made this in 1991. It took almost a year to make this. So it's just each, each state has its own thing that it's famous for. So like, there's the Georgia peach. Anyway, I just stuck this here because it didn't really go anywhere else and I can see it every day. This is my secret closet. I call it the speakeasy because a lot of things can go in here. <laughs> okay, this closet is gigantic. I will never use this much space. Those are my clothes. No, I don't have very many. I'm a very simple person and I just don't need a gigantic wardrobe. Don't have a ton of shoes either. Just have what I need. Some clothes there on the shelf. Um, I don't have a dresser, so everything I have is right there. I can see it. This fabric cube is my laundry hamper because I just never have that much at one time. And the laundry room is right next to the bedroom. Now up here is what I call my six month shelf. Whenever I buy something, I save the box and the receipt in case it breaks or I don't like it and wanna return it. I have everything I need right there. Okay, and then the hidden gem in this closet is a little workstation. Just a table where I have my desk calendar I love a desk calendar because I can just see everything. I don't really like electronic calendars. I've always had a desk calendar since I was in high school, so that's just what I stick with. Did a little hack here for hanging my jewelry. And then under here is my photo cube for when I need to photograph smalls and it opens up and inside I keep everything I need to photograph smalls such as styrofoam head for hats, some cleaning supplies, stuff like that. So I could just run that cord out into the bedroom, sit on the floor and take pictures of my smalls. I really only photograph items about once a week. That's just my workflow. It's more efficient that way when you batch similar tasks together. In this slot next to the photo cube is my filing cabinet. It's a fireproof bag. Inside are my important documents like passport, birth certificates, social security cards for my kids and me. And this is it. The only paper I have is in here and it's just this small 
bag that's about the size of a briefcase. So that was a huge victory in downsizing land to get rid of all that paper. My kids know exactly what's in here and where it is, and it can survive a fire. Okay, and as we exit the speakeasy closet, <laughs> go back out to the hall. And the laundry room is conveniently located between the kitchen and the master bedroom. It's just enough room for washer and dryer and the stuff you need. And yes, I have to have a step stool because I'm short and I can never reach anything up high. <laughs> so just a basic laundry room. And now we're gonna go into the kitchen I have this nice big island that I use for all kinds of tasks. This is perfect for packaging up items to ship. If something has to go in a box or needs packing material and you need room to work. I also use it for measuring clothing, depilling sweaters. It is a perfect workstation because it's counter height and it can be a stand-up station and has these nice pendulum lights above it. So the lighting is perfect and it's easy to clean. I just find myself using it for all kinds of different tasks in addition to kitchen stuff. So that was a nice plus. Moving on to the rest of the kitchen, plenty of cabinet space and counter space. I don't have a lot of stuff on my counters because I don't like clutter. When I use something, I just put it away. And here is my tiny coffee maker for one person, which is perfect. Something cool I found were these under cabinet lights. It's kind of dark back here but these lights are LED, they're rechargeable. They have three settings, really bright, medium bright, kind of bright. But what's cool is they're held up with magnets. They come with these pads that you stick wherever you want them and you can remove the light and charge it and they last for like 300 charges. So very handy and I move them around all the time. They're just so easy to take down. You just pull them down and then stick them back up there and the magnets are under the cabinet. So very handy. I love little gadgets that make life easier. And I have a smooth cooktop, which is so easy to clean. And there's the, the whole view of the cooking area and the fridge. And I know y'all wanna see in my fridge to make sure I have all the right foods that I talked about eating all my keto stuff. So there you go. I practice what I preach, all good things. In fact, my friend says, are you becoming a rabbit? And um, no, I'm just trying to stay out of the morgue. So I eat healthy things. Okay, moving along to the family room where I have my super comfy couch. I don't know what I'm doing up here yet. I'm just letting that appear organically. And here again, we have that amazing view. Let's see if I can get the sky. There it is. Beautiful blue sky. This is my view. My favorite place to sit is over here on this end of the couch. So I can look out when I'm working on my laptop or just taking a break or maybe watching TV. I told you I always have something pretty playing on the TV if I'm in that room. And here we look a little closer and we have an angel there and one down there. So this is where I like to just sit 
and chill out. And let me tell you about this rocking chair. I was born in Charlottesville, Virginia, and we were near a lot of furniture factories. So this rocking chair was what my parents rocked me in as a baby. And it used to be brown, and so I painted it to match my decor in this home. And this chair is so comfortable. I love sitting in this rocking chair. And I've already told my kids, whenever it's time for me to go to the nursing home, this chair needs to come with me because I'll be perfectly happy sitting in this chair and rocking all day. And now you know the story of my favorite chair, which is way more information than you would ever need. Okay, let's move on to the office. We're gonna head down the hall here and the blinds are closed because the sun was blinding. So I will show you the view in just a second. But first is my storage hack for my eBay inventory, cube storage. Since I am transitioning to mostly smalls, my objective is to have all of my inventory stored away so I don't have to look at any of it. <laughs> After selling on eBay since 2003, that's a lot of years of looking at inventory. So my objective was smart storage in addition to transitioning to smaller items. So here we have leather goods, belts, wallets, bras. I have a lot of bras. Those are so easy to ship. And some craft supplies here. Just lightweight small things that are easy to store. So it kind of looks like a piece of furniture, but it's actually storage. And so we go over here and I have this nice wooden chest that I've had probably 30 years. And inside of this is my working supply of shipping supplies. Not everything is in here, but this is a working supply and I keep this stocked up so I can just grab what I need when it's time to ship something. And the top makes a nice little workspace for packaging up easy items, things that go in poly mailers, nothing too complicated. And then here's my genius idea of a stand up shipping station. You can see I've got another one of those task lights here, which is perfect. And I just hook up my laptop to my printer there, got my scale right there, and I can ship my items. Because I sell maybe five to eight items a day, and that's why I design. I don't wanna be glued to my computer shipping hundreds of items a day. I'm one person. So my objective is to continue to sell higher profit items so I don't have to sell as many. So I've got my working supply of padded flat rate mailers, office supplies. This is it right here. I don't need that many office supplies. So I downsized all of that when I moved and got it to fit into two fabric cubes and then my envelopes are on the bottom. That is by design because I have set things up in a way where I'm forced to bend and move and not be sedentary. So some people might say that's not very efficient, but I just don't wanna become sedentary and not move around all day. Okay, and now we will move on to the closet where I have the rest of my inventory stored. Here we have extra boxes and I do store them assembled, not flat, because I like to see what size it is so that I can easily choose a box for whatever's sold. I don't have to go through a bunch of flat boxes and try to figure that out. 
Here are a few hanging items that were too thick to fit in the few tubs that I have. And my inventory is intentionally stored where I can see everything because I'm all about being time efficient and I don't wanna to have to spend time looking for something. I wanna know exactly where it is. So while this might look like a jumbled up mess, I know exactly where everything is. So down here I have a few more cubes with health and beauty products, shoes, hats, other smalls, and more things on the bottom. And then over here I've got my linens, a few plush, and here we have a few tubs with clothing. So I'm down to this many, which is kind of a miracle. <laughs> In my eBay history, I had probably 40 to 50 tubs of clothing. So I'm down to this now. I'm not getting out of the clothing business. I'm just reducing the amount I have for sale and focusing on higher profit items. And then up here, we just have a few more odds and ends stored. Those are the bulk of my shipping supplies up there in that eBay box. And then back around to all these other boxes. And I've got my sewing kit right here so I can quickly grab that. If I need to mend anything, that's kind of a weekly thing too. Uh, sewing back on loose tags or buttons, those types of small, easy repairs that can be done quickly. I also have my ring light stored in here. You can see that next to my steamer. So everything is intentionally stored where it is out of the way, but easy to retrieve when I need it. And the rest of the office, I have a comfy love seat here where I can work on my laptop. I have my adventure wall where I will be adding more items as I have more adventures. This is the view from the love seat in the office, which is why I put the love seat right here because of the view. Just like everything else in my home, it's all about the view. And then secretly hidden behind the door is a hook on the wall so that I can take photos of hanging items. There is my instant photo studio when I need one for clothing. And your next question is gonna be, why aren't you using a mannequin? Well, I know this is gonna be a shock, but I am getting away from that simply because it's faster without one. And with all of the Poshmark sellers also selling on eBay, it really doesn't seem to matter if you have a mannequin or not. So I'm testing out that concept to see how I like it. And with the photo background removal tool I use, it really doesn't matter what your background is as long as your lighting is done properly. So I'm using a combination of hanging my item and the background removal tool. And it's just so much faster than putting clothes on a mannequin and taking them off. eBay changes and you have to change along with it. So I do not have a backdrop tape to my wall, which is wonderful because I've been looking at that for so many years. And I don't really have to have a photo studio because I just set this up once a week when I take photos of clothing items or hanging items. And this is really all I need. My objective at this point is to shrink everything, inventory, space, and the tools I need to do this business. Moving along to the guest bathroom. We have that nice marble countertop again. What I like most about this bathroom is the giant garden tub. It's huge and I love a good soaking hot salt bath. Very therapeutic. So my guests that come have a 
giant bathtub to enjoy if they want to take a hot soaking bath. The last room on the tour is the guest room. I'm so excited to be able to have guests come visit. And you can see the bed looks so comfortable because it is, it's like sleeping on a cloud because that's what I want for my guests is to be comfortable. And so I just have a little accent table here where when I do have a guest, they have a place to put their stuff. And here is another angel. I have a fun sign over the bed about the rules of the guest room. And this funky lamp that my friend, the interior designer, chose. Very cool looking. In this corner, I have a comfy chair. And there's another closet that is just gigantic. All the closets here are huge. There's my mannequin that is uh, on vacation for a while. We're going to see how that goes. But lots of storage, my Christmas stuff just overflow from the other closets. I found this artwork on Etsy and I just thought it was so neat how it shows all the fun things we have in Georgia and where they are as far as the cities, north or south, because I'm sure I'll be having guests that are not from Georgia and they can learn a little bit about our state while they're hanging out in my guest room. And then we go back down the hall and, oh look, there's my roommate right above my favorite chair, Holly Go Lightly. I saw her at either Home Goods or TJ Maxx and she just matches perfectly with my decor and she's really the only roommate I would ever want. Well, thank you for stopping by and visiting and taking the home tour. Again, I would love your comments below. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.